Welcome everybody. Today's video finds us kind of on the southern part of the old capital of Ayutthaya. We're right here on the island and we're going to take a look at a temple that was built in 1689, I believe, after two years of construction. It's Wat Bororam Putaram. Now this was built by King Pate Racha and he, it was inspired by like the former like Royal Palace of King Narai over in Lopburi. And what they did is the roof tiles of the temple were glazed yellow and they were brought in, I think from China actually. And this is like in the uh, Pratu Chai sub-district. And it's uh, Pratu Chai means like the victory gate or uh, something like that. Anyway, let's walk through here and let's see what we see today. This is the area that it's in. Right over there, some of the major ruins on the island towards the north. And you have this road, and then over this away is like a hospital, and then the river, the Chao Praia, is just to the south. And when you come over here, you're right here next to the road, so you can just walk along here. You gotta watch the traffic. And then we'll go in here and we'll take a look at this ruin. And then this is kind of the grounds of it. So this was orientated north to south, which was a little bit different because of kind of the area it's at. There's a canal right over there. There wasn't much room here. And the king built this. This was kind of his hometown, this part of the city. And what's cool, let's walk over here and let's take a look at this Persian style bridge. Yeah, from this side of it, it doesn't look like much. You can see the trees are kind of taken over and there's the old canal. And there's another temple over there. And then this is like a technical college right here. So this temple is kind of on the grounds of the technical college but this is what is fantastic there's a couple things i really like about this temple this bridge is definitely one of them but check this out it's a persian style arch and it covered the canal and it's fantastic you can see the trees are growing right there and it's just the end of the canal now the canal is dry over here but they've kept the bridge intact you can see the tree roots that are growing on it and then like the lotus bud arch. Oh, it's fantastic. I really like it. And that tree is just really taking it over. And that's just kind of over here on the grounds, kind of forgot about. Most people just pass right by this temple. It's not very famous, but it was quite important. There's several things that um, have been taken out of here that are pretty neat. There was three doors. This was restored by one of the later kings, right before the fall of Ayutthaya, King Bororamat, can't remember his name exactly, but he was famous for restoring a lot of these temples and he restored it and he installed three really intricate mother of pearl doors on this temple. And they've been taken out. One of them is in Wat Prakau and another one is, was taken apart and made into cabinets and is at the National Museum in Bangkok. And then the third one is installed at the Marble Temple in Bangkok, one of the first class royal temples. And they know that it had yellow glazed tiles because they found a bunch of them over here when they were restoring this temple. But what a great little area. There's the tennis courts for the university over there. This chetty right here, it's got 28 corners and you can see the little styling and they had the images right there but they're all gone now and you can see it kind of looks like a little bit of a Khmer prong there was a Khmer like resurgence whenever this was built where they started styling a lot of them again back in the Khmer style and you can see the styling is definitely taken from that and they used the bricks they didn't use the sandstone here Ayutthaya was really uh, famous for their use of the brick so this is the main hall. This is the ordination hall. The Weehan is this one right over here. And it's just down to the base, really. There's a couple little walls, but there's not a whole lot left. Yeah, the relic chamber has, it has a little ruined tat. It has the four arches, which are the Sumjara Nam. That's what they call those little alcoves right there for the images. And then there was a bunch more up there. The fine arts department actually restored this. This collapsed all the way down at one point. And then you can see the second one back there. It's just, the whole top is missing. It's mainly just the base with the little walkway. 
Yeah, and this is the smaller little chetty just to the north of it. And it has the base, they call it the Pratakinsa base. That's the terrace for walking. And you'd walk around this clockwise, is what you would do. So you would go up here and you'd walk around it and uh, pray. And you can see the styling, there's a little bit of the, the plaster and stuff like that. And they think it was built at the same time as that other chetty that's a little bit more intact. But you can see the use, how they had the brick, and then they came in and they stuccoed it. There's quite a bit of stucco that they did to get it this style. And then they put like the little flowers and stuff like that in it. Yeah, it's really, really nice. Then you have a little base. I'm not sure if this was another chetty or exactly what this is. There's not a whole lot there. And you can see how weathered these bricks are. This jungle is just terrible on the brick. They just disintegrate and turn into basically dust. So this is the Weehan. And there's just a little bit of the Buddha that's remaining. And this is kind of how it would have looked. It would have had the door right here and the windows. They've came back and restored that. And the rest of it is all just down to the, the base. And then there was a little sandstone Buddha here. And then they had a porch on the back. So the people would have came in here and prayed and then they would have been able to go out the back doors here and there would have been a little porch here and there would have probably been like a standing image right here between the, the steps. And you can see how close it is to the road. At least they didn't destroy this temple to expand the road. And then this is the main hall. And it was quite large. I mean, it's a, a massive structure. You can see the brick and the plaster. And then they would have had the Buasima stones here and then this would have been what they call the glass wall, which would have separated the, the temple from like the earthly realm. And this is the wall. And you can see the size of the brick that they used. Those are actually quite large. And then they carved some of them to give the styling. And then you can see the rail. And then the base of the Buasima stones. And then the outer wall. So this building is really, really massive. Oh, there's a tree growing right there. They would have had the styling up above the doors, and this would have been bowed in the middle like a ship. It was the uh, characteristic of the late Ayutthaya style. And you can see the plaster work around the windows. And they've came in and they've redone that because that wood is in too good a condition right above the, the windows right there. And all this right here. But this would have been restored kind of how it looked back in the day. This would have been whitewashed, would have had a porch here on the front, a porch on the back. Oh, it would, would have been fantastic. I really like these old IOTS style buildings. When I see one, I, I got to stop and take a look at it. And what they would have done probably inside of here is there would have probably originally been like some murals painted. So the door here and the door in the middle and the door on the other side, those are the ones that were taken and uh, one of them's in the Grand Palace, one's in the museum, and one's at the Marble Temple in Bangkok. But what a cavernous building. So this one here, this building did not have support columns on the inside. The walls, you can see how thick these walls are. So they would have been load-bearing to support the roof. And then this is the main image. And this is in an Ayutthaya style image that's in the subduing Mara posture, which is the one you normally see. Yeah, it's fantastic. You see they've wrapped it with the cloth and the ties will come here and pray because this does have a tie to, you know, the, like the history and the old ancestors and stuff. And then this is looking back towards the north. Yeah, that door there is just absolutely massive. The ones on the side are big, but the one in the middle is really huge. And then we could go up here and look back at the rest of this temple. Yeah, that's a cool look with the, uh, the chetty right there. And then you can see how tall this porch was. Oh, <laughs> it's huge. Oh, these are really nice. And they're brick, a brick core. You can see this one here, it just has the, the brick standing. And then you can see a little bit of the plaster work that's still up above the door. And there would have been a little bit more up above it, but it's all kind of fallen off. You can see the little 
flowers and stuff like that, all the Buddha imagery that would have been incorporated in it. And this kind of looks like the chetty that was over the center door, and there would have been more over here. Yeah, this is a nice site. It's not overly huge. It's just kind of over here on the south. There's a few other, like the Grandmother Park that's down here at this end, plus the old Diamond Fort and a few other things that are worth coming over here to check out. And this one here, no, most people don't even know about it, and it's quite a nice little place to stop and spend a half hour or so of your time. You can see the image. And then they would have had styling there. So they just would have been all plastered over on the inside. And like I said, most of the ordination halls in the old days would have had some murals. But there's not very many of those temples remaining that were from the IUTI era with the beautiful murals painted. I've made several videos of them. It's one of my favorite things to see when I'm out exploring these old temples. So this is the back over here. So we have another little porch right here. You can see the columns and they're just massive also. And this was built up pretty high. I mean, this, this temple is on a high base. So I'm sure it would have flooded probably back in the day. Being this close to the canal, it wouldn't have taken much to flood. And then there's a few other temples off to the south that are mostly down to the base and stuff like that. This is the better one here to see. You can see the, the styling all around the windows and the wall. And then that bridge that's over there. <laughs> yeah, how cool is that? And then all the windows here. I mean, this is just absolutely gigantic. And it's in pretty nice shape considering how old it is. So this was built roughly, what, 90 years or so, 80, 90 years before the fall of Ayutthaya. And it was just one of the kings. I think there was a total of 44 kings in the 416 or so years of the Ayutthaya kingdom here. And this was just kind of one in the middle that nobody really knows too much about. But he did build this temple here. One more little look at that bridge. It doesn't really go anywhere, but it's still there to take a look at. And then the temple grounds with the chetty and the wee hand and that bigger chetty right there. And then oh, it looks like we got a couple people out taking pictures. And then this nice ordination hall. Yeah, so if you could imagine, it would have been white with yellow tiles on the top. Most of them would have had red, but this one would have had the red tiles. And it gave it another name, which was like the Temple of the Yellow Roof. Now there's one more thing about this temple. You see this tree right here? This is an ancient tamarind tree. And they say it was the sixth largest in Thailand. And in 1998, this tree fell over. And they actually, they sent a group of people that rushed over and they uh, replanted it and saved it. It's pretty important to them. So in the heavy rains, the roots just didn't have any purchase, so it collapsed down. And that's right here next to the parking lot of this temple. That'll finish up our video over here at this old Ayutthaya temple. This is what Boraram Putaram. This is a nice little place. It's worth a stop if you're over here and if you have any interest in these old temples. Uh, you'll pretty much be over here by yourself. So definitely come over here, take a few pictures and enjoy the day. And uh, it has a little bit of history to it, and it's just overshadowed by the bigger ruins. Most everybody goes to like the big six of the temples here and see those. But there is a whole lot more to see in the old capital. But anyway, if you enjoyed the video, definitely smash the like button. If uh, you're new to the channel, subscribe and stick around, and then you're notified when I post a new video. And uh, if you've been here or if you have any questions, ask me in a comment down below, and I'll do my best to answer it. But anyway, from over here in Ayutthaya, remember, life is a journey. Until next time. Enjoy.